Dr. John Brutus. Thank you, sir. I'm glad that the House is debating on a very important uh, aspect. And uh, this should be a non-partisan issue. Even it should be beyond the scope of the nation or a state. And uh, we should not be setting the agenda by saying that we have a solution for everything. Actually, the moment we say that, we have wisdom to deal with any crisis the world is facing. We are trying to confuse. As Diranjan said, I appreciate the quote which he said. We have merely borrowed this earth from our children. But some of us believe that we have inherited it and we have the right to do anything with this earth. That is the issue. Tirichu Shiva, I'm very glad that very senior member of this house. He talked about the example he set in the sky, of course. Yes. Yeah. That, at uh, 35,000 35, feet. feet. Now, I know that. See, when we go for committee meetings, Shiva also say that. He doesn't want flowers. When the bureaucrats come to receive him with flowers, he says, don't. I don't want any flower. The sheer wastage. So, if we, if we all can emulate something from somebody, that should be the best way of sending a message. Playing guy, you can also do that. Don't think that you're insulated from that. Okay. Sir, let us be realistic about the current uh, situation. We should not be leaving this issue to the scientists or experts or to the government. Mr. Bhubendra Yadav is a very studious, learned minister. Yes. All of us, All of us support that. We agree with it. Though he has some linear politics sometimes, but still. But we... But there is multilinearity. Multilinearity. We need to bear with that. Sir, as a nation, we should be very clear that we are paying the price for the greed. The greed of human beings. Essentially, the greed of the developed nations. And capitalists. Capitalist. There comes the relevance of the ideology, which Mr. Benoy and myself profess. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, Manoja also. The capitalist competition. Capitalist competition. Sir, these developed countries, which plundered Asia and Africa, they became industrialized, industrialized nations at the cost of Asia and Africa. And they still rule the roost yes. at the cost of developing world. Now there is an issue of a double-edged weapon. Sir, it's a very important matter. No, uh, I've your, never heard you ringing bell when your, others were speaking. Your party time is over. No, sir. And no, then sir. you have another speaker. Sir, I would Will request you, sir. Please. Please, sir, please, please, bear with me, I have only started. I have only started. Sir, there should be climate change here as well. Yeah. Okay, sir. Sir. But one should not deviate. Sir, it's a double-edged double weapon. One thing is that we countries, developing countries, start the process for industrialization. Now they want to thrust upon certain standard owners. Fine, perfect. I have no issue about that. At the same time, they are not prepared to shoulder their responsibility. The cumulative guilt they have, they have to compensate. So for so many years, they have been shirking their responsibility. 71 corporations of this world, I would, I would say 100 corporations are responsible for 71% of the emission. That's a fact. So, as a country, I will just come to certain aspects. I am skipping so many points because I know that you are going to no, no. ring the bell again. Yeah. Your, your party Sir, has another speaker. Yes. If you take he all the speaks, time, don't worry then nothing will be left for him. I, Sir, there are my friends there who are ready to give time because this is something a non-partisan issue. 
even the minister would try and set apart some time for the members. No, no. You need to have the you need to have the collective inputs. It's not some that something which will come by having a unilateral discourse. That you negotiate later. Yes, sir, we are. But sir, now, please. sir, look, our policies. Let us be very clear about our policies. It's absolutely a fact that this doesn't rest on the shoulder of Mr. Bhupendra Yadav. There are many ministries involved. Yes. Unless there are coordinated efforts, Collaborative efforts. unless the states are also brought in, unless the civil so society is brought in, we cannot find a solution to it. Sir, state of Kerala has decided that we will become net carbon neutral by 250. 250. Yeah, I know Tambidu Reji also. What is that his name? No, no, please, please, Mr. Peters. Sir, sir, let us, let us, sir, let us talk about our policies. We have been focusing on EV policy, electrical vehicle policy. Sir, what is the EV? We are using the fossil-made energy only, 70% of the energy. So just because converting our vehicles into EV, that's not going to solve the problem. There are other issues attached to it, sir. And even, even the Fame India scheme in its phase two has only made provisions for increase the demand incentives of two-wheelers. Sir, my request to Mr. Bobin Yadavji yeah. is that. Thank you. Thank you. You should give some incentive to the states. Those states which are sincerely making efforts to deal with this, so you should incentivize them. You should give them. And second is that there should be a set of awareness that should be created. And I feel that such a debate in the House would send right message to the civil society, to the humanity. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Sir. Thank you.